Alright guys, welcome to another video review, and uh, this is the last of my uh, free crowlers that I got from Rivington, and uh, although I'm only going to be uploading two of these, uh, because I had my second can, which was the Measure Twice 3.5%, and uh, yeah, it was basically uh, flat as a pancake, and I think it had been slightly oxidised as well, so... I didn't actually finish it and I thought I'm not gonna you know upload a review um, I'm not gonna you know kick off or anything like that um, it's just I'm just gonna chalk that up to a to bad luck really um, so I thought it'd be pointless me you know actually uploading a video but um, yeah um, I mean the first can that I had from them was f absolutely banging it really, really was, and you know, it's pretty much a last minute thing for them uh, with what's been going on. So, you know, it's easily done, and I'm not going to worry about it, and I'm not going to shit on a brewery, you know, especially in situations and times like these. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, we won't get this uh, with this beer, but do you know, what? even if it did, I'm not going to kick off. Do you know what I mean? It's just not worth it. Um, uh, you know, I'm just glad to give a little bit of money to a, a brewery who really has a good, good opportunity, and uh, just to help, you know, go towards uh, supporting them over these next few weeks or so, or a few months. Uh, we just don't know, really, do we? There might be a breakthrough tomorrow. You never know. Um, although by the time watching this, we'll have a bit more of a definitive answer. <laughs> to uh, what I've just said so uh, yeah this is a can of the X Illuminations um, and this is clocking in at 5.8% ABV uh, one promising sign is um, the can isn't as squishy which I didn't pick up on really uh, when I did my review of the other one but we won't talk about it we'll just move on and concentrate on this one so um, yeah this is one that um, Adam also wanted to, to pick up, so I picked him one up as well for him to collect from my uh, bin cupboard. That is not a euphemism. Or is it? You never know. Anyway, yeah, I do like the, the look of the uh, the Crowlers. All of them uniform with that one label. And then obviously, as with most Crowlers, just the information regarding the specific beer there. So 500ml can. I'm very promising so far. A little bit of a hiss. So I'm going to use my tool glass for this and yeah already I can see look at that terrible pour though but oh well now I think this is probably the one of the more high regarded according to untapped when I was picking me the beers that I wanted um, but yeah it looks nice doesn't it and uh, that's a hell of a lot more head that I got um, on the other beer so promised start, nice two fingers worth of white head, really nice and opaque. The light shining down really catches it nicely, illuminates it, but it's like a sort of, you know, muted look. Nothing's coming through that at all. It's like a, a little see-through. What the fuck am I saying? Uh, it's like a little see-through jar of or little tub of jelly, in terms of you could. You, it looks like you could just scoop it out with a spoon. Anyway, looking really nice in this glass. So let's see what we get on the nose. <sighs> nice, soft, pillowy, cloudy sort of uh, aromas. That's the sort of like visual aroma I'm getting. Nice, soft sweetness. It's like a, opening a tin of... Pineapple pieces, pineapple chunks, my god, what is up with me? I look like a mess, but when do I never? I've not, like, I do, I've not washed my hair for like three days now, which is actually looking a lot better than it usually would, but anyway. So, uh, yeah, I do apologise if I'm a bit all over the place with this review, but um, yeah, nice, sweet, slightly sherbet aroma. But nothing like really in your face, not overly promise anything, which I do like. I do like it when it's not like, I mean, obviously you love it when like an IPA is potent and it like fills the room with hoppy aromas. Um, but this, it's not promising too much, which is a good start. So uh, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, folks.
and that is much better. Oh yeah, that is lovely. It's got soft body to it, slightly creamy. For its ABV, the body is fantastic. Nice gentle sweetness that turns into a bitterness on the back end. In terms of actual flavours. Yep, you're getting tinned, tinned pineapple. And the juice that you get in there as well. It's got like a really nice savoury dank character. Uh, which I've found quite a lot with um, the Rivington beers that I've had. Like really sort of like... They always remind me of like when this whole hazy New England IPA and pale ale craze was kicking off. <laughs> Especially with the UK brewers where there was loads of like... Just dank, chewy, savoury, bruised fruit characters. So again, that, but there's just the right amount of sweetness which helps lift it. Oh, it's just going down an absolute treat, mate. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Nice, subtle citrus bite as well. You know, the classic sort of blood orange, grapefruit. Not too tropical, not too sweet. It's a slight herbaceous character coming through. Nice sort of like Ritz cracker-like flavour as well from the malts. Crispness, even though it is soft. Mm. It's just one of those beers that, it's not blowing me away. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, wow, this is the best beer I've ever had. But my God, is it good. Mm. Nice tingling on the tongue as well there. It's got a gentle carbonation. Which I do really like. So it's not too gassy. And not too heavy. And doesn't cause you to burp every two seconds. So yeah. Definitely uh, for me the best of the bunch that I got. Uh, from this. I mean even that one. Sorry to go on about it again. Even the one that was slightly oxidised. And flat. Still had some really lovely flavours in there. Um, so. I, knew, I know for a fact that. Um, without those problems, that would be an absolute banger as well. But this is lovely stuff. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I'm glad that I made the uh, the purchase. So, um, yeah, definitely a brewery. Um, oh, look at that nipple. Is that a nipple? No, it's not. It's uh, the writing. But you've got a wonderful breast here coming through, which should hopefully be gone once um, the world goes back to normal. Although I've not really been doing any sort of exercises today i've just been really lazy today with it being sunday but so uh, yeah ending my sunday nicely and um yeah if you're in the vicinity um i know adam put a comment um on i think my sort of unboxing video with uh, what postcodes but it's all on their website their web shop as well and um yeah i want them to continue and i want them to come out of this uh, I want them to come out the other side, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? I want any brewery to, even breweries who I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't want anyone to, you know, go under. And so far, I've not seen too many casualties of the situation. Who knows what's going to happen between me recording this and uploading it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, lovely stuff. In terms of a rating, then, on... That's the wrong one. In terms of a rating, then... Oh, God. I thought it was empty can, I'm just like there picking up those splash everywhere. 5.8%, exluminations, fantastic stuff. Highly, highly recommended if you can get your hands on it. And uh, yeah, if you've tried anything from Rivington, then let me know your thoughts, opinions. Check out the brewery and their web shop. And uh, yeah, if you see any of their beers in one of your stockists or online retailers, or if your bottle shop is able to do sort of like local deliveries or collections and stuff like that, put a couple of their beers in your basket because lovely lovely stuff indeed anyway thank you all for watching uh sorry for this camera angle because of uh, the fact that this uh track sweatshirt is a little bit tight um i'm like all hunched over so you don't really see it but I look cute don't i anyway let's not go there thanks for watching you all take care you all stay safe and uh ta-ta for now